Today, we're going to go through a little start a series of cooking classes called How to Use Your Molecular Gastronomy Home Kit. For those of you who are fortunate enough to get these for $19 on Groupon, probably a good way to go because they're not really worth much more than that. Let's be honest. First, let's take a look and make sure we have everything here. Here's your DVD so you can have instructions on how to use your molecular gastronomy home kit, which we'll just, that's what I'm here for. We have some plastic micro tip pipettes. These are great. We have some plastic tubing that you can get at your corner store for a lot less than this. We have a syringe that's probably illegal, although if you have friends who are addicted to heroin, you might know how to do this. And then we have a spoon with holes in it. And then we have some measuring spoons. Most of you probably have one of these around the house, but these are multi-purpose. We'll talk about that later. And then we have some really cool things. We have soy lecithin with its own little label. Xanthan gum, which you can use to make your own toothpaste. We have sodium alginate, which is a seaweed salt. We have calcium lactate. And then we have agar agar, which is used as an emulsifier. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use sodium alginate and calcium chloride, which did not come with our kit, but we're gonna borrow. Here we have taken one liter of water and combined it with seven grams of calcium chloride. Be careful using calcium chloride. It can be poisonous if not used in the right dilution. So seven grams per liter of water creates a nice little water bath that will help our emulsion seize. So we're gonna take some snap peas here. We have about four tablespoons and we're gonna to add to a blender. To that, I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of water, a teeny little pinch of salt so that it tastes like genuine snap peas. And then we're gonna go ahead and puree that really fast. If you want to break dance or practice your moves while you're doing that, feel free to go ahead. Sometimes it's a little boring. So we're going to now strain this liquid to make sure we have a nice, pure, wonderful tasting snap pea water. And that is indeed what we have here, as they say. So what we need to do is weigh this very carefully. We're going to take our gram scale which did not come with our molecular gastronomy home kit. We bought that ourselves at the corner store, the corner molecular gastronomy store, and have it set to grams. I have added a little cup here so that I can measure out by weight. I have 107 grams of liquid here, which I'm gonna add back. To that 107 grams, I'm gonna add four grams per hundred of my sodium alginate, which is this stuff right here. This is in two gram packets, how convenient. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully tear these open. Whoa, powder. This is just a seaweed salt. There's nothing dangerous about this. Turn our blender on. I only needed one packet because that worked pretty quickly. And we're gonna basically make a little gel or a syrup out of that. And then we're gonna take that gel, drain it into our container, and shoot it up into a syringe or a micro tip pipette, depending upon the size and the style. You can leave this here for a while if you wanna drain all of it, get a spatula, drain everything through into your container. You also wanna let this set for a half an hour or so before you actually make it. That way it gets rid of a lot of the air. Because we don't have an extra hour, we're going to use our fancy syringe. Clean off our tip. And then slowly, at a nice high altitude, drop in little droplets carefully. I'm a little thick to have perfect drops, but you can do different shapes like a noodle if you want. I'm going to take this thickness and do a noodle. Because calcium chloride is a little strong, we need to rinse it off in fresh water. So we're going to take our little hold spoon here, strain everything off, and you have snappy noodles, which you can use to make a vegetarian or sauce-based pasta. 
That tastes just like snap peas. Well, that concludes casual Friday day one of how to use your molecular gastronomy home kit. Next time we'll come in and we'll learn how to solidify things with agar agar or another seaweed salt. Have a great day.